Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can run DaVinci Resolve and export videos in low-end PCs. So firstly what you have to do is just simply open your DaVinci Resolve. Now as you can see I already have a clip in my timeline. So this clip is a 4K clip as you can see over here. Now the first thing that you have to do is just simply change the timeline resolution. So for doing that click on the setting icon down here. Then in the video format click the drop box. And then over here just simply choose 1080p and the frame rate that your video is don't choose 4k because if you will work on 4k it will start lagging now after that scroll down and come to the proxy media resolution then click the drop box over here now over here in this option the lower you will go the faster your editing speed will become meaning the clips will render much faster and will not lag that much so for me, I'll just simply go with quarter. Now after that, just simply click on save down here. Now what you have to do is just simply create a proxy media. So for doing that, just simply go to your clip, then right click on it. Then click on generate proxy media. Now before doing that, there is a setting that you have to do in order for you to save the proxy media. So for doing that, again, go back to the setting icon. Over here, you will find a proxy generation location. Just simply click on browse and choose a location where you want to save the proxy media. Then double click on that folder, then click on select folder, then hit save. Then I can go back to the clip, right click on it and click on generate proxy media. So what this does is it will create a smaller file of your clip on which you can edit and work without lag. But don't worry, while you are rendering, it won't make any difference and it will give you the highest quality you will choose in the export panel. Now after that, if you play the clip, but there is one more setting that you have to do before doing that. So for doing that, just simply go to playback. Then in the proxy handling, choose perfect proxy. Just simply choose this. After that, if you are adding some elements to your clip, like a subtitle or any effect, what you can do is add your subtitle first or effect, whatever. Then go to playback, then go to render cache and choose as smart render. So what that setting does is it will automatically render your clips and all the effects in your timeline. So after that, when you start the clip, including your effects, it won't lag anymore because it is already rendered. So after completing all the editing work, just simply go to deliver and render your video. So that's it. And thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.